This week's exciting session is on cybersecurity for the connected car. Our expert presenter today is Mike Vorce, product manager at Polarian Software, a Siemens company. Well, hello. Thanks for uh, inviting, allowing me to participate in uh, today's event and uh, an open discussion about security issues uh, surrounding the uh, the connected car. This is obviously a very complicated topic, and we, we don't have much time to talk about it in any, any deep detail. Uh, I'm going to have to talk pretty fast just to scratch the surface. So one of the things that's notable is if you, if you want to get anybody in the tech sector talking, engage them, bring up the subject of cars. It seems to be the, the platform of our affection in, in, the, in the software world. So um, one of the things I think we need to do first is talk about what a uh, clarify exactly what we mean when we say a connected car. The reality is that the modern automobile is already complexly connected. It's heavily networked with multiple networks. Uh, the digitization of virtually every aspect of the vehicle requires um, inter-vehicle networking of, of literally hundreds of nodes of ECUs. Connectivity for these critical elements is so pervasive that it's actually stressing the more common vehicular bus networking architectures, the designs of which really didn't contemplate the high bandwidth traffic or significant numbers of participants. Likely this is an area that's going to be seeing considerable technological evolution going forward. Um, and combined with all of these requirements, um, including sensor networking, which is even not mentioned here on this slide, uh, all of this is giving a lot of momentum to Ethernet eventually becoming the standard protocol to accomplish both in-vehicle and exo-vehicle networking. Now, most everybody gets pretty anxious about cybersecurity when we start talking about the car becoming a participant in external networks. Um, a car becomes essentially just another node in the global Internet, and there's an implied recognition that your car is now becoming a target for hackers, just like in your laptop or your smartphone. Um, and, and, of course, this has been helped along by the, the high-profile news stories. Um, of course, that may or may not be true. A car hacking definitely happens, um, but interestingly, what's most likely preventing widespread cyber attacks today is that um, uh, widespread cyber attacks on vehicles is, is the absence of a way for the hacking world to monetize vehicle hacking other than outright vehicle theft. So even how a car actually gets connected to the Internet is not universal. For example, um, let's consider a driver who has a smartphone. And he's in his car, and that smartphone is connected to both the car's infotainment system via Bluetooth as well as to the Internet over, uh, over the 4G cellular network. Well, doesn't that make the, the car now a so-called connected car in terms of being on the Internet, despite the car itself potentially not having direct wireless capabilities? Thank you for watching our webinar teaser. To view the full webinar, click on the link below in the video description. For other recorded webinars, visit polarian.com, click on the Events and Webinars tab, and click on Recorded Webinars. Or take the next Polarian steps.